Thursday marks exactly five months since the March 11th earthquake and tsunami that devastated northeastern Japan. As of Wednesday, police say nearly 15,700 people have been confirmed dead and 4,700 remain missing. More than 87,000 people have lost their homes due to the disaster or have been forced to evacuate by the crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Nearly 90 percent of the planned temporary housing units have been completed, but some remain vacant because they're in remote areas. More than 140,000 people in Miyagi, Iwate and Fukushima prefectures have lost their jobs, but there have only been about 86,000 job offers. Over 700 households in these prefectures are on welfare. The Labor Ministry plans to set up or rather step up support for the unemployed in the region by asking businesses nationwide to give them priority in hiring. Decontamination of radioactive water at the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant is failing to reach its target, throwing the timetable for bringing its reactors under control in doubt. Exactly five months have passed since the plant's cooling system was shut down by the earthquake and tsunami disaster of March 11th. Operator Tokyo Electric Power Company has entered stage two of its timetable to end the nuclear crisis. TEPCO aims to stably cool the reactors by January next year. Decontaminating thousands of tons of wastewater at the site holds the key. But failures of the installed filtering system have prevented the utility from achieving its initial operating rate of 90 percent. The figure as of Wednesday stands at 66 percent. The system has been hit by a string of different malfunctions despite fully operating for more than a month. The Nuclear Safety Commission said on Wednesday that TEPCO must improve the system by pinpointing the common root of problems rather than addressing them ad hoc. To complete the stage, the second stage, TEPCO must reduce the amount of polluted water to prevent radioactive materials from spilling outside. That means it must operate the decontamination system effectively. The Okinawa prefectural government has asked the foreign ministry to provide information on radioactive waste held at a U.S. base in the prefecture. The U.S. military carried out an operation to help areas of northeastern Japan that were hit by the earthquake and tsunami in March. Aircraft and other equipment used in the operation were contaminated by fallout from the nuclear disaster at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. 
Materials used to remove the contamination are being kept at the U.S. Marine Corps Futema Air Station in Okinawa and an American naval base in Sasebo, Nagasaki Prefecture. The foreign ministry notified the Okinawa prefectural government about the matter on Wednesday. The Japanese government is reportedly working on setting standards and guidelines for disposing of radioactive waste. A spokesperson for the U.S. Marines in Okinawa says the American military will properly store the waste until the Japanese government disposes of it, adding that its radiation level is so low there is no possibility of a leak. New numbers show people in Japan are getting more of what they eat from abroad. The country's food self-sufficiency rate in the last year dropped below 40 percent for the first time in four years. The Agriculture Ministry says the figure for the 2010 fiscal year through March fell one percentage point to 39 percent. The rate is based on the population's calorie intake of food produced in Japan. This is the second straight year it's decreased. The Agriculture Ministry says bad weather triggered a drop in domestic production of wheat and potatoes, leading to more imports. Japan has set a goal of increasing the country's food self-sufficiency to 50 percent by the year 2020. That would help it deal with the possibility that rising global food prices could limit imports. The government is using a new income supplement program to encourage farmers to increase their production of wheat, soybeans, and other foods. Five months after Japan's earthquake and tsunami triggered the nuclear crisis, the struggle to get the Fukushima Daiichi plant under control is far from over. Workers are trying to get the system that decontaminates highly radioactive water working at full capacity. The plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, has resumed the circulatory cooling systems for spent fuel storage pools at four of its reactors. It fixed the problem at the number one unit on Wednesday. TEPCO has been cooling three reactors since late June by cleaning up highly radioactive water and then circulating it. Japan's Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency says the temperatures of the reactors have been relatively stable at around 100 degrees Celsius. That lowers the risk of another hydrogen explosion. But the water filtration equipment has been plagued with problems. The decontamination operation has been repeatedly suspended, slowing down the process. TEPCO is reducing the amount of water it injects into the reactors to limit the buildup of contaminated liquid. That means its plan to put Fukushima Daiichi into cold shutdown by early 2012 could be delayed.